So let's take a look at the PTAC $300 AR-15. This is my official review. I've had this for a few months now. It's, I think, AR-15 number eight for me. And the reason why I bought it was not for self-defense, was not for whatever, it was simply because it was so cheap and I enjoyed building them. And, you know, why would somebody want to own something like this? I mean, why not? It's $300. Think about the cheapo handguns you can buy for that. If you can buy a functioning AR-15, for that same price, I mean, why wouldn't you? So, it's a fun thing. The uh, slick side upper is kind of a novelty for me. A lot of people have complained about it. I just wanted it to be as cheap as possible. So, does the lack of dust cover and forward assist bother me? No, because this is in my primary home defense rifle. That one is, and this one is basically just for the purpose of what I'm gonna do today and just come out here, enjoy shooting, do a little planking, hit some beer bottles, and that's it. So, I mean, the thing has functioned flawlessly for me. It was a little scratchy when I first got it, but uh, no complaints other than the handguard is really thin and it does get kind of hot after one mag. You kind of let it, got to let it cool down a little bit. But other than that, I mean, I, there's no real issues with it. So anyway, let's do a little fun shooting with it and take out these beer cans.